everyone, Jennifer here. I thought I'd give you an update on what our basement's looking like. So let's take a look around. So you can see general framing has taken place here and all the walls are down. Um, in the bathroom, not much is different right now. Uh, the plumber did uh, put in a new drain do, down through the shower wall uh, in the shower stall here. And um, plumbing will be in this week to finish up his job and then drywall can come in and start doing theirs. A nice big surprise, our laundry room is actually feels a lot bigger than we thought it would. And what's going to be. So let's take a look. This is basically going to be our galley laundry space. You're going to come in through here. Uh, there's going to be a frosted door in here and another door leading to the storage area. So if you come in, you can see we've got a nice big space here. Along this wall, we're going to have cabinetry and we're going to have some stacked cabinets up, on, up to the ceiling. There's a little drawing there um, that just helped our electrician know where all the plugs were going to be. So cabinetry on this side. And on this side, we're also going to have cabinetry. We're going to have some uppers here. One little thing we did have a problem with, there was going to be a bulkhead uh, that juts out into the room here in the laundry room. So we had to kind of reconfigure what our laundry space is going to be. And what we're going to go with is we're going to have the washer and dryer on this side and put our sink on this side. What that's going to do is we've got a great uh, faucet coming in here from, from Delta. Uh, actually, it's a Brizzle faucet. And it's going to be a real showpiece. When you come into the room, we're going to have a ceiling to sink uh, backsplash. So a real nice light area that reflects a lot of the light. There's going to be a pot light over the sink. And we're going to have some shelving there. So open shelving and then closed cabinetry on the side of the wall. Nice big floor plan. We've got about almost five feet of space here, so a nice area to work with. And then we'll take you into our unfinished uh, storage area. So again, there's going to be a door here. One thing to mention, Handyman did get his TV, <laughs> and that's going to go here on this wall. So we've got a bit of blocking in between the studs that you can see. Okay. In the storage space, a lot of things were cleaned up. So we had to turn the furnace, um, you know, 45 degrees so it would fit behind this wall. And we've cleaned up a lot of the wiring that was along this wall and plumbing. Old plumbing was taken out. The sprinkler box was moved over here. And now we've got nice clean walls that we can put floor to ceiling shelving and just jam pack this with storage. So the thing to remember with this, this is an unfinished storage space. That really saved us some money. So we're not going to have any drywall ceilings. We're not going to have finished drywall on this side. <clears throat> um, the other reason we did that, it, as well as saving money, is so is accessibility. This is our utility room. So now you can access the gas lines, the plumbing lines, the furnace, um, and like the heater. The hot water tank is here as well. This is the play area. This is the little playhouse that you guys all convinced me should be a little place for Chloe and you're absolutely right. It's going to be a fun little zone. I think we're going to do a Dutch door here and just enclose the area and have it all drywalled. So that's going to be up next. We asked our electrician to put a, uh, an outlet, uh, a light box here um, so I can have a fixture there. Still not convinced I'm going to use it because it might overhang into the space but good to have it there just as an option. Further down the hallway, you can see the area has been framed out now. So this is going to be filled with cabinetry. Okay, This is going to be um, sort of our big craft zone. We're going to have a tall tower of cabinetry here. We're going to incorporate a, a, a lower desk space. And along the, the wall underneath our, de our deck here is going to be a big banquette with, again, more storage, um, more cabinetry. So it's going to be a really finished space. One thing you want to do when you've got the walls open like this is think about in the future how are you really going to use the space. When I came down the stairs, I knew I always wanted to have a feature art wall right here. So what we've done is we've got some blocking in because art can be pretty heavy. So we put that in here and then when we hang our piece it's going to be uh, you know, well enough to support it. We've also got a pot light coming right here so it'll provide some light on that piece of art.
here is the big bulkhead. This bulkhead had to be here no matter what because we've got pipes running from under our deck all the way into our utility room. Again, we chose to save some money by not moving the pipes over so that they'd be close to uh, the shared wall, but instead just big, built a big bulkhead. In order to make it feel not so heavy, we've added pot lights in there. And that was a, an addition we just made as the plan was going on, and we saw exactly how big the bulkhead was going to be. I thought it'd be too dark with nothing here. Um, the other thing that this bulkhead caused me to do is change the orientation of our, our layout. Originally, I thought our entertainment zone was going to be here and it'd face this wall, but I thought it would kind of feel like there's this big heavy weight, this big bulkhead over your shoulder. So now what we're going to do is place our entertainment zone uh, facing this wall. We've got some blocking in to uh, help support a TV that we might put there, and I think it'll just be a better utilization of the space. The other thing we're going to do, since this is a shared wall with our neighbor, is we're going to put in some sound insulation. So right now our neighbor is 94 years old and we don't hear a lot uh, from her, but we don't know who's going to come in after her. So good idea, the walls are open, let's put in a little bit of sound insulation. So our philosophy is it's better to have more light than less light. In this area, we've got eight pot lights going in here, and each of our pot lights are probably about three to four feet apart. So, eight pot lights in this main zone, plus four underneath the bulkhead, and that's really going to uh, give us a lot of light in the space. The one thing we did do is they are on separate switches. So, if we want to be able to dim the lights that are here while we're watching TV, we can do that. That's on a separate switch. The other lights we have in the zone. Again, I mentioned we have a harvest table here. Originally, I planned for one pendant to drop down over the harvest table. But now that I actually see the space and envision where my table's going to be, I think I need two. Two dependents. So we've had our, had our electrician uh, add one, one more light box there, just in case. Again, you never know what you're going to need.